Today, I'm going to show you how to create wart cap powder. The things we'll need to create our wart cap powder is one glass bottle, and I'm using a brown bottle, but you could use clear, gray, anything you'd like. We're going to be using some of this sand, and I have a yellowy tan colored sand here, but you could also use turmeric, cinnamon, baby powder, whatever you want to use for your powder is just fine. I'm going to be using these adhesive pearls, and these are the half size pearls. You can find them in the stationery aisle of most craft stores. I'm going to be using a drawer or cabinet pull. I'm also going to use a gold sharpie, some distress oxide and black soot, a Q-tip, as well as some tan leather cording. And finally, we will need our label printed on sticker paper and the link for this is in the description down below. Let's get started. Would you like a chance to win a monthly potion bottle? Then consider supporting me over on Patreon. All of my patrons have a chance to win a monthly potion bottle. Link is in the description down below. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our adhesive pearls here and we are going to color them with a gold sharpie and then I'm actually going to take a little bit of the distress oxide and make them look a little bit more aged. We're actually going to use these to create a rivet effect on the bottom of our bottle. I kind of wanted to go with a little bit of a steampunk vibe on this bottle and I just think the rivets are really going to be a nice addition to this particular piece. So all I'm doing is taking my gold sharpie and I'm going to color all over the pearl. Now the reason I'm using a gold sharpie and not say rub and buff is this is going to dry a lot quicker. I initially thought about using some gold rub and buff but it takes a little bit for it to cure and this will dry almost instantly honestly and then that way we can take the black and go right over it. So um, I'm just going to go through and color probably two rows of these to make sure I have enough rivets to go all the way around the bottom but I just want to make sure I have enough so I don't have to make some more um, to actually do my bottle, but I'm just going to go through, color these in, and as you can see, it does a really nice job of covering the pearl, so then that way we have something that will match the metal on our drawer pole here, and as you can see, that's a little bit more dark, so that's why we're going to take the Distress Oxide and age these up a little bit. I'm going to continue to color these in. Okay, so now that I have colored two rows of my rivets here, I'm going to take some of the Distress Oxide and age them up. So I'm just using a Q-tip here, collecting some of the black soot on there, and all I'm going to do is just kind of lightly rub it on our little faux rivets here. And it doesn't have to be perfect, we're just aging them up. So see how it instantly makes them feel older and more worn and it automatically starts to feel more like our drawer pull. And now that I have these all aged up, I'm actually gonna take my cork and we are going to take some of the Distress Oxide and we're going to make the cork more of a gray color with that little bit of cork peeking through just so it looks a little more aged and I also think it'll kind of go better with the drawer pull as well. Now that I have just kind of aged up my cork a little bit and I wasn't too worried about the center because obviously our drawer pull is going to be through there um, but now that this is ready and these are ready we can go ahead and start adding the decor to our bottle. All right so I have my bottle here and I've got my little faux rivets and I'm going to start to just peel and stick them onto our glass bottle here and I want to kind of keep these close to the bottom so that we get a really great little detail just along the bottom edge there. Okay. 
Okay, so I have added my little faux rivets to the bottom here. And it just gives a really different effect. And I, I like it a lot. And you could space these out however you want. You can go all the way around like I did real close or you can make them further apart. But I just think it adds a nice different effect to this one. The next thing we're going to do is take our cork that we already colored in with our Distress Oxide. And we're going to find the center of it, which I kind of already did. I made a little hole. And we're going to push our screw in there. And then you can either go drill this out with a drill, so then that way you can drill your perfect hole, or you can mark where your screw is going to go through. And then I'm just using a little, like, needle tool here. And you can push through. You could use a screw to do this. Anything, you know, a, sh a sharp screw. Like I said, you could go get a drill and drill the hole. Whatever you need to do to get it through there. But we're basically just going to create and bore out a hole here that the screw part of the drawer pull will be able to go through so that we can create this decoration on the top of our bottle. Okay, so all I did was push enough that I could get it started through here. And once I have that, I'm gonna pull the cork back off and you can kind of screw it a little bit if you need to. And then I'm just gonna make sure I have all my parts put on. So I'm gonna get the bottom color put back on. And then I'm gonna push this back through. Okay. And once we have that, we then put our washer on. and then our nut. And we're just gonna twist this on. Now you could cut the rest of the screw off. I honestly don't think it's necessary. Once we have the cording on our bottle, you're not gonna really see it. So for me, I'm not going to waste my time cutting the bottom of the screw off, but you definitely could. So the only thing I'm gonna double check is that everything seems to be centered up here before I tighten it down and yeah, I think that's pretty good. So I'm just going to hold everything in place while I get my nut tightened on there. Okay, and as you can see, everything is on there nice and tight. And we now have a decorative finial for the top of our bottle. Now that we have our finial attached to our cork, we're going to fill our bottle with our faux work cap powder. So like I said, I'm using a sand. You could definitely use whatever kind of powder you want. But I love that this is just like a small moment in the Harry Potter books where they're clearing out Grimwald Place and Sirius finds a silver snuff box that is a biting snuff box and it's filled with wart cap powder. So basically what happens is when wart cap powder touches your skin, it creates a hard coating over it, almost a protective type coating because this is an ingredient used in the fire protection potion. So I just think it's really fun to kind of add a little element that's just barely talked about in the books, but you know, it's kind of fun. So I don't want to fill this up all the way because I want it to look like it's been used or you know maybe it's harder to find so you only have so much of it but then that way we've got it in our bottle here and then I'm going to cork this up and I want to make sure I get this good and straight and we don't have a side that's sticking up more than the other or anything like that okay and I think that looks pretty good so now we're going to add our label. And just like I always do, I went around the outside edge with a matching marker just to help give it a little bit more of a finished look. And for this one, our label is gonna be just barely above our rivets on here.
think that looks pretty good. And then we're gonna wrap the top of this with our leather cording here. And we're gonna do this just like we have hundreds of other bottles before. We're going to create a U, capture the U, Cut this flush, and then if you need to, you can just kind of tuck that up underneath. And then we're just going to push this part to the back. I almost feel like this feels a little too clean. So I'm gonna again take my Distress Oxide and my Q-tip here. And we're just gonna lightly rub it up a little bit. And if you get too much on, you can always take a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a cloth and just kind of wipe it. And it'll help remove any that you don't want, blend it out a little bit. Okay, once we have finished distressing our cording here, there you have it, our wart cap potion. And I love all the little details on this bottle. It just makes it a little different. I love that it's got a little nod to a steampunk vibe, but it also has just got like this vintage look to it. And I really like it. And I think this will be a perfect addition to our potion and prop collection we've been making along the way. So if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.